We got a good one this weekend, guys. Live from Las Vegas, Leon Edwards is going to defend the welterweight UFC championship against Colby Covington. And my partners at DraftKings have an incredible offer for all new customers signing up using the promo code SUNNEN. New customers, bet just $5 on any of this weekend's fights, and you're going to receive 150 in bonus bets instantly. You can even use your bonus bets in DraftKings same fight parlays for a shot at an even bigger payout. Combine multiple bets together within the same fight, including number of rounds and method of victory. Remember, DraftKings is the only place where you can bet same fight parlays. If sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in on all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app right now. Sign up using my promo code SUNNEN or just click on the link below. I did a poll, guys, over on my YouTube channel. I just asked you, who do you think is going to win between Colby and Leon? That's all I asked. It went 51-49 in favor of Colby. Now, if you juxtapose that with DraftKings, that's basically what DraftKings has. It They just have it the other way. Leon is officially the favorite, but it's a plus 120 to a minus 110. That's this very second. And while that's been changing all week, I mean, that's as close to dead even as we've seen in 2023. That's as close to dead even as a person can speak. So, my official prediction is Colby, but how do we get there? And I listened to one of the more difficult to understand interviews by Kamar Usman that I've ever listened to, but Kamar did break it down the same way that I would look at it, which is Colby has a question mark. He has been out of the ring since his matchup with Masvidal. Masvidal's not only fought since then, he's been to court multiple times since then. He's even retired and started a promotion since then. I mean, this it's a meaningful amount of time. Somebody told me it was a year and a half. That could be right. I wouldn't argue. I felt it was closer to two years. I sat in the batter's box for over a year, and I was at that fight live. It's been a long time. And Kamara Usman brings up a very fair point, which is some guys react differently. All guys react differently. Some get better, like Dominic Cruz. And some look like, whoa, where, where's he been? That layoff was really tough on him. I don't predict that Colby is going to have anything resembling ring rust. Just because I know of the activity, I know of the professionalism. I know he hasn't gained a pound. I know when they called in March and said, can you make weight in a week? He said, of course I can make weight in a week. Not most fighters, it would be no. No, I got to go into training camp. I got into shape. I got to do the Colby's in the gym every day. He was waiting for that phone call to come in. Then he was trying to fight him in July. They tried to fight him in August. They tried to fight him in October. I mean, Colby has been ready for this match. And I just think when, you know, there's nothing quite like the competition, but when you live that life, it is a very different thing. And what would, what would be the date, right? Every time somebody gets some of the fight, a clock starts but they don't know how far they can run before that bell goes off. And it largely has to do with your age, but it also has to do with your lifestyle. And guys that live the life that Colby lives, they can go closer to four years of inactivity, of actual competitive inactivity, before you see what you would call ring rust. My bigger question on Leon, and Leon, it turns out, is a hell of a lot better than we all knew. Even the night of the head kick hurt around the world. Leon getting on top of Kamara and dominating that first round, that was a big surprise. There was other moments just within that fight, which Leon was clearly losing, that were a big surprise. You go, man, this guy's better than we thought. But there was one thing that stood out, and that was the very clear exhaustion Leon had reached the point of fatigue where he had changed his goals. He was no longer trying to win the fight against Kamara the night that he took the belt. He was no longer even trying to win that fight. He was just trying to get to the finish line. So I bring that to you because Colby Covington has the same weapon that Kamara Usman has, which isn't the punctures and the kicks and the college wrestling. It's an ability to weaponize pace. And Leon largely goes into that same category, but there are guys that could be better at what you're good at. 
And I just believe that Colby's ability to weaponize pace, he's going to put a pressure on Leon, and that is going to add up, and that is going to matter. Now, Colby's got to have his way a few times. He's got to drag him down. That doesn't matter if he's got to hook the fence or he's got to grab his shorts and hope the referee doesn't clean. He's to drag him down and wear on him. And I think that that's going to start to kick in. One big question I have with Leon, and the reason I tie it to his condition and level of fitness. What happened that delayed this fight? We heard from Colby repeatedly from back in March when Leon shut the book on the Edwards Usman saga. That night was a rare night because that night Dana White announced what was next. We never hear that at post fight press conference. You could count it on two hands how many times in 20 plus years Dana's ever announced at the post fight press conference what's next for his main event winner. Get the same answer of, let's see what happens. But in that case, we knew, and the announcement was made, and it has still been nine months. So, I've always wondered why. What happened there? Was it just playing the venue game, playing the date game, and it didn't line up? Maybe. But... I heard from Colby a lot. I did not hear from Leon at all. And I've always wondered, was he hurt? Did Leon suffer an injury or an illness somewhere along the way that delayed this? I have no evidence that he did, by the way. I've just always wondered, because that, that, would, that would not only sway my opinion. I'm all, I've already got Colby, but I, I acknowledge that we're going to have to work here. There's going to be some calories burned. If Leon suffered some kind of an injury, which is what delayed this, which means he was removed from the gym, which means the one piece that he's going to need, which is the absolute condition, which has to be built up. That doesn't come in eight and ten weeks again. You hear about training camps. Come on. This stuff is silly. That would be a very big deal. And you would not be able to be in the kind of shape where you could just level a playing field and make it 25 minutes with Colby Covington if you did not have an absolute consistency. That's one part that I don't know. I've always wondered. Nobody's asked. Nobody's asked Leon that. It always surprises me. I see media members, they go talk to him. I, I don't understand why they wouldn't ask him. It just feels to me like the most obvious question. Hey, champ, why are you only fighting twice in a calendar year when your contract clearly calls for three? My, I mean, it seems like a very fair question. Everybody's contract calls for three. Volkanovski fought three times. That's one champion that fought three times. Adesanya did not. Piara did. Makhlchev, who's said to be the best champion of them all, did not. And if Leon didn't fit this one in within the next two weeks, he would have only fought one time. And it's just one of those situations. Everybody fights three. Why didn't you fight three? Were you offered three? Could you not do three? To me, it seems like a very relevant question. Nobody's asked it. I don't actually know the answer. But my prediction of the pace... My prediction of chaos being a little bit too much. My prediction of American wrestling standing tall once again still is unwavering. My official prediction, we're going to have a new welterweight champion.